this video, you will learn about the components and assembly process of both shell type and core type single phase transformers and compare the two. The video begins with an explanation of the shell type transformer. Imagine a transformer bobbin. A transformer bobbin, also known as a coil former, is a vital component in the manufacturing of transformers. It serves as a container to hold wires, channels, and supports the winding, facilitates easy insertion of the magnetic core, and provides connection and termination methods. Then, the primary coil is wound around the bobbin. The primary coil is typically connected to the power source. When an alternating voltage applied to primary winding, it generates a magnetic field in the core due to electromagnetic induction. Then, we place the insulating tape over the winding. Electrical insulating tapes are used primarily on small to large coils to provide mechanical holding power during the manufacturing process or to provide insulation between layers of wire in similar wrapped coils. Then, the secondary winding is wound around the bobbin. This winding is usually connected to the load. Then, another layer of insulating tape is wound. In some cases, the secondary winding is placed under the primary winding. The primary and secondary windings have a specific number of turns, and the turns ratio determines the voltage ratio between the primary and secondary. An iron core is used to create a magnetic pathway. Laminations of silicon steel are used to create the core. EI laminations are used for shell-type transformers. EI laminations have standard sizes and are chosen based on the designer's specifications. Silicon steel reduces hysteresis losses, while the laminations reduce losses due to eddy current. Insulating coating insulates the laminations from each other. If you've been enjoying the video, please give it a thumbs up. Then, the laminations are securely fastened using bolts and nuts, the primary and secondary coil wires are inserted into the terminal. The primary and secondary voltages will be connected to the terminals as shown in the picture. Now the core type transformer is being inspected. This type of transformer utilizes two bobbins, each winding half of the primary and secondary coil wires to reduce leakage flux for each coil. Insulation tape is used between the primary and secondary coil wires. After the insulation tape is wound around the coils, they place the iron core inside the bobbins. You can see the type of laminations used in this type of transformer. These laminations are known as UI laminations and are manufactured in standard sizes. Sometimes L-shaped laminations are used. Then the laminations are securely fastened using bolts and nuts. The primary and secondary coil wires are inserted into the terminal. The primary and secondary voltages will be connected to the terminals as shown in the picture. Now, shell type and core type transformers are being compared. Core type transformer. In this type, the windings surround the core. Generally provides better magnetic coupling between the windings, leading to higher efficiency. A core type transformer consists of two limbs and two yokes. Cross section may be square, cruciform, and three stepped. The flux is equally distributed on the side limbs of the core. Shell type transformer. Here, the core surrounds the windings, can offer better mechanical support for windings and easier cooling, especially in higher power applications. A shell type transformer consists of three limbs and two yokes. The cross section is rectangular in shape. Central limb carry the whole flux and side limbs carries the half of the flux. Please subscribe to our channel, ring the bell for notifications and share our content with your friends. Leave us a comment if you have any questions or suggestions.